The Demon King is resurrected, but his soul is immediately spawned cap void by the Sacred Stone of Rostin. Despite being a soulless husk, the Demon King is ridiculously strong, having 120 HP, 36 defense, and 41 resistance. I opened the battle by having Ephraim try to poison him with a Toxin Lance, but unfortunately the Demon King is vaccinated. I move everyone else in, and the Demon King summons 8 monsters as reinforcements, 2 of which are Draco Zombies, which is very unlucky. I have you and Tri for a 60 damage Eclipse, but unfortunately he misses, so I decide to deal with the summons first, because for the most part my characters can only do single digit damage to the Demon King. This might be the first time in history that anyone has let his final boss live past turn 2. Garcia and Duso each take down a white, Erica kills a male duet, and Ephraim defeats a death coil. I use Murr's last dragon stone to try to kill a Draco zombie, but not only does she not crit, I make a very stupid oh no. blunder by accidentally trading all my axes to her, so Ross actually cannot attack. I have Motor use the Latona staff to heal everyone to full HP, and then brace for impact. The Demon King moves first and is actually in range to one shot Erica with Demon Light, but he casts Nightmare instead, putting nearly my entire army to sleep, rendering them completely helpless and unable to act. Fortunately, Motor was just outside the blast radius, and I managed to cast another Latona to wake everyone up. Ross finishes off the Draco Zombie, Ephraim and Innes take down two Meldruids, and I nearly killed the other Draco Zombie as well. With nearly all of the goons taken care of, we can now fight the Demon King properly. What? He summons again? That wasn't in the wiki. This behavior likely was not documented because everyone normally kills the Demon King immediately before any of this could happen. Having discovered that the Demon King can theoretically summon infinite reinforcements, I lose all hope in being able to grind him down, and so I decide that it's now or never. I must take down the Demon King immediately. I try for another 60 damage eclipse on the Demon King, but it also misses. And so I have Ross move in to attack with the Garm, and with his stat boost to 7 strength and support bonuses, he nails the Demon King for a 48 damage crit. I have Tethys dance for him, and he lands yet another 48 damage crit. I trade over the Garm to Garcia, who hits the Demon King for 8 more damage, bringing him down to 16 HP. That was all the damage I could do this turn, so now I must focus on trying to survive. I have Erica and Duso slay two Clitorable Whites and Ephraim takes down the Gargoyle, while Innes kills an Arch Mogul. Everyone else is on body blocking duty, especially Mur who now can no longer attack. And I have Motor use the third and last charge of the Latona Staff to heal everyone to full HP one last time. The Demon King moves and immediately obliterates Yuin with Demon Light. Innes is annihilated by a Draco Zombie. Mur, who is now incapable of combat, is attacked repeatedly and barely survives. Finally, it is my turn again and I have Garcia attack with the Garm and then trade it over to Ross, who swings and defeats the Demon King once and for all.